Good morning, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Lloyd's Welton here. Um, as you can see, I'm in the process of cleaning out the shop, and it's it's coming along pretty nice. Um, Everything's getting cleaned up, organized a little bit better. Uh, <clears throat> but what I was going to make a video about today is uh, I'm making a. Uh, there's this place in here in my town. It's called the Dragonfly House, and uh, I've been doing. You know, <clears throat> little artworks out of horseshoes and stuff, like little frogs and whatnot. And um, I was gonna make a uh, the dragonfly house. They're building a new building, and they're using a they're making a uh, garden in it. And they're wanting they seen my dragonfly that I made for the place that I sell stuff at, or one of the ladies did. And they got in contact with me and asked me, asked me if I make one for them. So uh, <clears throat> my first thought was to use an old tank, uh, and there's that piece. But it didn't. It's hard to measure and get everything right on a round surface. Um, so like from right here back, I started getting off on my cuts, and it was more or less off on my measurements. My cuts are good but I was gonna take them and bend them over and make the body of the dragonfly. Well, I decided not to do that and I started on that the other day. This is the, the body of the dragonfly now. I think that's gonna look a lot better. Uh, there's a wasp's nest. That ain't gonna bother you. There's another one right there pretty big but they don't bug me I don't bother them um, but that's what we're doing on this uh, um, this video I'm gonna try to be finishing up the dragonfly build and uh, good morning ladies and gentlemen of YouTube Lloyd's welcome here uh, right here's my all right first off this is gonna be a dragonfly uh, the reason I'm making this is here where I live there's a place called the Dragonfly House and they help kids that's been abused uh, help families get through stuff whatnot <clears throat> and I've been doing um, my butterfly and the butterfly and stuff I made before and I made another one today uh, but the Dragonfly I made uh, this lady come into the shop that I sell them at and she's seen them and she's like hey i work at dragonfly house would you be interested in donating something um because she really loved the dragonfly and i asked them i was like well do you want a small dragonfly or do you want something bigger and they're like well you know you make it as big as you want so i was like well i'm gonna go all out on this and so this is gonna be the body first four horseshoes and i kind of brought it down real slow and then that's going to be the tail and then this piece right here i left it off just in case i want to make the dragonfly a little bit longer but uh i'm gonna put like a little tail on it that way or that way or something like that or i might not put it on at all i don't know it just depends on how it looks in the end um but that was my thoughts on that um all together I think this thing right now is about four and a half foot long. It might be a little longer than that. Uh, <clears throat> the uh, the wings are gonna make, be made out of half inch rebar. Uh, it's pretty thick. Um, I'm all, I don't think I'm gonna have much trouble bending it, but uh, I'll probably go over around that pole right there underneath that wing and I'll mark the center and wrap it around it and start pulling on both sides or get somebody to help me 
bend it around or I might just try to bend it here on the table. I use this to bend a lot of things for the wings and stuff. I just welded a rotor to my table. But uh, <clears throat> that's it. I uh, had it all welded up. Uh, then it was real wheat and flimsy, so I put rebar in it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make the legs out of yet. Uh, they're, I don't know if I'm going to use the half inch rebar or if I'm going to use pipe or what, but, and I don't know if I'm going to make it off, you know, coming off the ground or not. If I do, I'm going to probably cut these horseshoes out right here and put a flat plate in there and maybe put the horseshoes back around it or something but put that plate up there that way I got a place to weld like a two inch pipe or three inch pipe to it. Cause all together, when this thing's said and done with, it's probably weighs 30 pounds as it is now. Man, so it'll probably be pushing, I'd say maybe a hundred, uh, depends on what all I put on it and how intricate I go with it. But uh, I still gotta make the head. Um, I'm thinking about using horseshoes, and bending them around some way and then making a uh taking those like two and a half or three inch dome caps off of a uh, fence posts and making them the eyes uh i'm not quite sure yet uh i just like i said i just wing it as i go but this is all a complete donation uh i'm doing all the welding and my father uh who owns our other business He's uh, paying for all the material, and they're gonna put us a plaque out there. And but it's it's made to help kids, so it's a good donation it's for a good cause. Um, you can look them up online if you need to. Uh, they're out of Knoxville, North Carolina. But tell me what you think. Uh, I'll see you more here soon. Appreciate it. All right, guys. Uh, I got his legs on it, the neck, uh, put the legs on, had to put a couple pieces of metal in the horseshoes because I knew I wouldn't hold on to it and then I doubled up on the half inch rebar. I think it looks better <clears throat> and then uh, I didn't know what I was going to do with the head and I know I said I was going to use a uh, pipe but uh, I use our horseshoes and I think it turned out pretty good, to be honest with you. Um, we'll set it on there like that after I weld it. That's what it'll look like. Minus this. Go to that's uh, overall, I'm not sure exactly how long it is. Um, I think it's five or six feet. It's right at five foot. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to add that little tailpiece on or not. I might. But I think that looks pretty sweet. First try, I didn't mess up on anything. I like it. But uh, I got to put some like four inch pieces down here for the legs, finish them up. Uh, and then I got to do the wings and it should be done. But there it is, guys. I'm excited about it. And I hope the Dragonfly House likes it. All right, guys. Uh, Got everything welded up solid. Um, I had to put bracing in here. This is uh, two pieces of one inch angle iron with uh, I think an inch and a half tubing uh, ID and or an inch and three quarters, something like that. But <clears throat> uh, it all come from a scrap pile except for the rebar and horseshoes. All these parts did. So I'm not exactly sure what it is, but uh, I put this on there. I'm on 
instead of putting it on the ground, I'm gonna mount it about three foot off the ground. And um, I'm having to put all these supports in here because the horseshoes, they just won't hold it. So uh, the tail, it was flimsy, or the whole body was really, and I put these pieces of rebar in. And then this is real sturdy now up here, but then the tail's still flimsy, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna run one piece along the bottom of the tail right there and then weld it to that. And then hopefully, you know, if kids are playing around it or messing with it, it ain't gonna, you know, bend it or phase it much. I hope not anyways. Um, I don't have the head mounted on yet. I figured it'd just get in the way. Plus I can just tack it on last when I start doing the wings so I know where it's gonna be. But uh, this is what I got for right now. It looks like somebody murdered a dragonfly with a stake. <clears throat> but I'm going to drill some holes through this and that other pipe and then bolt it on there. And then brad the ends of it and hopefully nobody will try to steal it. But you never know. Alright guys, ladies and gentlemen, I got the wings put on. And I started doing the the centers. Um, what I did was I put a mark every three inches. Whoops, the head's still ain't on there yet. I put a mark every three inches, and then alternate them back and forth. <clears throat> but that's what it's gonna look like. I'm almost finished. And we'll be taking it, or I'll be going to get some paint. And we'll probably be painting it with a brush because I doubt I can get spray paints this color. And well, that's that. Um, I'll show it to you when I get the head welded on and the rest of the wings done and after that it's pretty much finished and we're done with it and off the paint and then take it to the dragonfly house see what they think i guess